As you mark Earth Day and Planet Week, it's important to talk about issues that are harming life and ecosystems on the planet. When you talk about pollution, we usually think of air, water, soil, but one issue often does not get enough attention. When you look at our planet Earth from outside, such as space or the space station, one thing is very noticeable, and that is light pollution. We're joined today by Ryan Khan, who is a Dark Skies ambassador. Dark Skies International is an organization that raises awareness around light pollution and also creates standards that governments can adopt to reduce light pollution in their own territories. Hope you're well, Ryan. So I wanted to ask you, what is Dark Skies International? How do you work? And what is the overall agenda to bring light pollution to bearable levels? So uh, I'm part of International Dark Sky Association as a delegate and advocate uh, since 2019. My uh, background related to astrophysics specifically um, uh, because it has a deep connection with the stars and because of all these artificial lights, we cannot see the stars. When we talk about light pollution uh, in general, there are some basic rules which has, Dark Sky International has standardized these rules, which is so easy to understand. So are there any examples around the world or any standards that we can use to reduce light pollution? So International Dark Sky Association has uh, created this standard practice practices globally to standardize these practices all over the world and to follow these rules. And they have uh, approved lighting design as well, which is they are using. Other than this, they have a lighting ordinance, which you can follow to create a city plan on sustainable lighting policy, which we don't have yet. So my final question to you is that coastal cities, such as in the Middle East, such as in South Asia, East Asia, uh, North America, these are cities that are very populated. Now, it's understandable that light pollution has to be reduced in low population concentration areas, but how do you manage it in densely populated areas where we know that it's impacting and harming the ecosystem? For example, turtles who come to the beaches to lay their eggs, they get frightened by lights. And there are other species impacted, such as marine life, such as other coastal species. How do we really protect them? So, um... First, when we are creating such kind of mega projects, we need to have comprehensive ecosystem assessment in that area. There are, are some international, uh, uh, like uh, for dark sky preservation, we have separately uh, topics based on how we can protect biodiversity, uh, especially not only, I would say, turtles. There are some other uh, insects, birds, also plants. Other than this, we can implement to, to rectify this problem. What we can do is retrofit these lights and follow the basic five principle to standardize these lighting design according to the standard global standard that we have mm -hmm. and create policy around it and regulation, aware people about this topic and educate them about uh, turtle friendly lighting designs, educate them about the uh, ecosystem these are important topics that still missing that uh, we are not creating awareness about this topic.